so now we're going to have a look at errors. There are two types of errors that we look at in statistics, which are type 1 and type 2 errors. So a type 1 error is where we reject H0, but it's actually true. And the probability of this happening is the same as the significance level. And we look more into the probability of finding both of these in A2. In AS, all you need to know is how to describe each error, what each error means, and that the probability of a type 1 error is the same as the significance level. So a type 2 error is where we accept H0, but it's actually false. And this, like I said, this is quite hard to figure out and we don't need to know how to do that until A2. So this is just a table summarising what we were talking about. So in reality, if H0 is true, but we reject H0, that's the type 1 error. And here, if we accept H0, but in reality H0 is not true, that's our type 2 error. So we're going to have a look at some examples of this and how to describe them in context because this is the hardest bit. Other than that, it's just remembering which way around it is. So if we've accepted H0 and we're asked what type of error we could have made, the answer is we could have made a type 2 error. And if we've rejected H0, we could have made a type 1 error. So that's just memorising those two. In terms of describing them in context, so here we've got the owner of a small vineyard has an old bottling machine which is used to fill bottles with his wine. The machine is known to dispense the volume of wine which is normally distributed. The owner is concerned that his bottling machine is becoming unreliable and purchases a new version. A random sample of 12 bottles from a batch filled by the machine is collected and the data is used to test at a 5% significance level whether or not the volume of wine dispensed has been reduced. So if we were performing a hypothesis test on this data, then H0 would be that the mean is still the same. Doesn't tell us what it originally was, so we're just saying that the mean is still the same. And our H1 is going to be, because it says reduced, it's going to be less than it used to be. So now we're trying to describe in context of the example the meaning of a type 2 error. So remember, a type 2, t 2 error is where H0 is not true, but we've accepted H0, and we can see that here. So that means that we conclude that the volume of wine has not reduced... Because that's our accepting H0, we're saying that this hasn't happened. So we're saying that it's stayed the same, so it's not reduced. Uh, sorry, that should say volume of wine dispensed. Has not reduced. When in reality... The volume of wine dispensed has reduced. So now I want you to give the now you try a go, read the question, think about what the hypothesis would look like if you were to perform a hypothesis test on this, and then try and put into words what the meaning of a type 1 error would be, remembering to state what we would have concluded and then what would have happened in reality. So hopefully you paused the video and gave the now you try go. So here we have a forestry worker decided to keep records of the first year's growth of pine seedlings. Over several years, she found that the growth followed a normal distribution. Last year, she used an experimental soil preparation for the pine seedlings and collected a sample of the growth of eight seedlings. The sample was used to test at a 1% significance level whether or not the soil preparation had changed the mean growth of the seedlings. Describing the context of the example, the meaning of a type 1 error. 
So from that description at the top, we've got a two-tailed test. So H0 is that the mean is the same, and our H1 is the mean is not the same or that it's different. So then, remembering that a type 1 error is where H0 is true, but we've rejected H0. So we're concluding that the average growth of the seedlings is different from, with the new soil, when in reality, the growth has remained the same. So it's quite important that you understand the difference between these two statements. One of them is saying that we're saying it's not reduced, the other one saying that we have found a difference, so that's quite important. It's also important to understand that we can do this with any type of hypothesis test that we have. I've chosen to do two normal examples because we've just had a look at normal uh, hypothesis testing and that's quite fresh in our minds. So the main thing is, is to remember which way round these errors are. So memorising this table, getting used to using it and picking out the type of error from it, but also how to word it in context. So what did we find from our test? What was the real result in reality? Thank you very much for listening.